Hi, this is Pete. Welcome to my channel. In this video I want to present you a special kind of pulse build modulation for the Behringer K2. In this synth, exactly as in the original MS-20, Oscillator 1 provides a rectangle waveform with variable pulse width. The pulse width can be adjusted by this knob here just below the waveform selector. However, besides this knob there are no other possibilities to vary the pulse width. Neither the LFO nor the EGs can be used to modulate the pulse width and there is also no patch point for such a modulation. For the original MS-20 there is a hardware mod that actually creates some connection to the oscillator on the circuit board inside. This makes pulse width modulation possible but also requires to solder that connection directly on the board. For me this is not an option for the K2 and therefore I started some fun project for a non-invasive solution. So the plan was to build a mechanical control of the pulse width knob and in fact I had some kind of robotics approach in my mind but it was clear that a general robot arm solution was out of reach. Instead the idea was to use a MIDI controllable motor fader for the movement. But how to transform the rotation, the linear motion of the fader into some rotational movement of the K2 pulse width knob? This was the most difficult part of the project. Theoretically, what we need is a suitable application of the lever principle. Like with this tool, which is able to convert force into torque and therefore transforms translational into rotational movement. One difficulty is to make the movement invertible, say it should work in both directions, back and forth. This could be realized by a lever with some kind of slot, which could also cope with the varying distance between the knob and the fader contact during motion. If you imagine this here as the knob axis, in principle it should work like this. Okay, but surely this is not the right tool for the K2 knob. Through some intensive research on household accessories I finally found the solution. A simple cloth pack in principle has all mechanical properties that qualify for some fader based knob control. But the quality varies a lot. This typical pack is too tight for the K2 knobs and this one here is a bit too short. But the biggest is not always the best. As you can see this guy is definitely too massive. Not a good idea to apply this monster to the K2. The best pack I found in my first search was this one. And it was good enough for the first experiments. But I could not resist to search the internet and in fact I found an even better pack which is a bit longer, remarkable 100 millimeters, and also the slimline design is more suitable. The rest of the story is straightforward. I took my good old Behringer BCF2000 where the motor faders can easily be controlled by MIDI control changes and as MIDI software for the LFO and EG experiments I use QMIDI ARP under Linux on a Raspberry Pi. But there are similar Max for Live devices and you can do the same with Ableton software for example. All in all the project took quite some effort but at the end it was big fun to play with the setup. Of course there are some limitations of the mechanical approach that should be mentioned. First of all the modulation range is limited. With the current setup I can just reach about 80 degrees of knob rotation which is not that much. Also the rotation speed is limited. Here I refrained from exploring the real limits. 
because at some point I really got worried about the mechanical stress that a fast changing MIDI signal applies to the system. However, with the K2 parameter scaling, the intensity of the pulse width modulation would largely profit from an extended modulation range and speed, and therefore my solution is clearly inferior to an invasive electronic mod. Nevertheless, the experience with a mechanical solution was unique. In particular, the BCF produces a noise level that makes you aware of the fact that real masses are moved. In fact, the different kinds of noise the BCF produces are interesting on their own, and I also try to catch this in the audio demo, which I hope you will enjoy in the following. So, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.